December this year, 2015, myself and 150 musicians, singers, dancers, choir are going to be touring the major cities of Australia in an arena spectacular and I am beyond excited about it. I've called it, uh, we've called it Broadway to Oz and I've always loved travelling. I love that feeling of being free and I've had unbelievable opportunities. And to be honest, one thing that thrilled me about doing the show in America, there is a fairly significant portion of the show where I try to explain what it is to be Australian, what it means to me, and to share what I think are some of the core values of our country with people over there. And the response to that used to was really the highlight of the show for me. And it's clear, I think, to most people who know me, uh, whether you're Australian or not, that being an Australian is a very important part of who I am. And from the moment I was doing the show, whether it be on Broadway, the end game for me was being here. Three words for you in the form of a question. Wolverine the musical. <laughs> Sounds like a statement. Uh, no. As a question. That makes me sad. No. Uh, it makes you sad? Well, you know, I, I, listen, I'm doing one more Wolverine, and I can categorically say it won't be a musical. But you never know. Maybe during the show there may be some surprise. I want to keep a few things up my sleeve, mate. David Spicer, Hugh, you. um, you're almost closing the entertainment centre, but ironically, uh, Peter Allen opened it. It is. How do you feel about that? So you, yeah, I had forgotten that. I had never forgot that performance uh, because I remember watching it with my brother. It was an Austra it was it an Australia Day. I know he's saying it's still called Australia Home, but it was around Australia Day, wasn't yep, it? Australia Day. Yeah. And I remember the big flag coming out. And wasn't he wearing the Australian flag on his sequined Australian flag shirt? Anyway, I remember watching with my brother, and we were sitting down watching it, and my dad was standing in between us in the like the TV room, and he put his hand on both our heads. And my dad, so we're first generation. My dad emigrated in the late 60s from England, and I remember looking up and seeing tears roll down his face, and it was probably the first time I ever remember seeing him cry. So it was one of those moments that it was etched into my brain. So thank you for reminding me of that. Um, you saw a little preview. It's fair to say that you're going to see a still call Australia home in that venue. Um, so it's a, it's a great thrill. I think Peter was one of the great songwriters, actually. Um, underestimated, perhaps, in his lifetime, but not anymore, thankfully. And, you know, he won many awards, but he just had an ability to write songs that endured, that really touched people. And that song, no more than it, I sing it sort of all around the world, I get asked to sing it. And even non-Australians, they seem to get sort of buoyed up with it, so I'm excited about it. 